Hi, my name is Larry Fops. Thank you for watching this video because you're interested in this product here. Ketogen 4. It's a very special product for burning fat. So what I want you to do is uh, look up the title Keto. You'll find that there's a lot of products out there. They talk about this, talk about that, burning this and burning that. This part, product here is very special. Made by New You Life. Now the thing is, okay, when you purchase this product, you're getting more than just a product. We have a Facebook group of hundreds of individuals who are using this product. And you can join the group, see what they're talking about, compare, uh, you know, ideas and things like that. And the other thing is, we have a board of certified doctors who are also on board with this product. So, when you start taking this product, you're not alone. You'll be able to call in, check in, see how everyone's doing, Giving results and all that is because you don't have to be alone in trying the keto product. It's because I bet you if you were to Google and look up keto, it's a very complicated subject. A lot that's involved, a lot of misconceptions. But this product here is a true fat burn. It will burn fat. You don't have to exercise, you don't have to go on a special diet or any of that other nonsense you'll hear out there because this product is very special. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the inside. That's what you really wanna do. So Thomas, this diet is the most popular diet on the planet right now. Keto diet is hot. It's just hard for people to stick with it. So you're, you're the best expert when it comes to the keto diet. Give us some tips on, on how to help people go through that transition. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, you're, you're right. It's people fall off the bandwagon and it's not because um, the diet's hard to stick to. It's because they don't know the little simple tricks that just don't get out there. And so I've got a few tips. So the first one is focus on more fats, period. Uh, a lot of times people just lean way too much on protein. So focus on fats. It's very difficult to overdo the fats simply because you're going to get so satiated. You're going to be so full when you have the fats. It's actually quite hard to overeat those fats. I mean, it is to an extent, but realistically, you get full before you ever really have the desire to eat more. If you sit down and you eat a whole avocado, it seems like a lot of fat, but the reality is that's the kind of fuel that you need to create those ketones in your body. So you want to lean on the fats more so than the protein. Lean on the oils, lean on the avocados, lean on the healthy kinds of mayonnaise that aren't you know riddled with soy and canola oil and things like that. Uh, another tip, make sure you keep your minerals high. Okay, here's what's interesting. When you're on a keto diet, what happens is your insulin levels are lower. And when your insulin levels are lower, your kidneys naturally expel more water, which means you might notice you pee a little bit more when you're on the keto diet. It's a perfectly natural thing. But when you pee more, you lose more in the way of salt. And you lose more right. in the way of minerals. So I always suggest that people add good healthy salt, like Himalayan pink salt or real salt or anything like that. They add that to their food or even a little bit to their water. And it actually helps a ton simply because a lot of times any potential fatigue that people are feeling with the keto diet is simply because their electrolytes are out of whack. And especially when you're first getting started on keto, you know, you're losing extra water, which is great. You're losing that water. You're losing that, that, that puffiness, that bloating. That's a phenomenal thing. And you feel amazing because of it. But as a result, sometimes you lose those minerals. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. The other thing that I recommend for people just to accelerate the results is do a little bit, just even just a little bit, 15 minutes of light activity in the morning before you eat something. Yes. It's so simple and it's a lifestyle tip, but it makes a huge, huge change in how your body actually utilizes those fats. You're getting your body using fats as a fuel source already, okay, because you're eating the right foods and eating or not eating the wrong foods, and your body's already optimized to use these fats. So if you wake up in the morning and you do 15 minutes of just light aerobics, that's all you gotta do, you are encouraging the upregulation of these fatty acids as fuel. So you're using this fat as a fuel source because you haven't given yourself any food to actually burn through first. So your, right. your body is essentially forced to use body fat for fuel. So that's just a great tip and it helps keep you in ketosis a lot easier because it upregulates what's called uh, ketogenesis when you're actually like yes. creating these ketones. So it's a really powerful thing. So those would be my three biggest tips. So what about, I wanna drink coffee without mm -hmm. sugar. Can I drink coffee? Heck Can yeah. I drink tea? 
Ca coffee and tea, to be completely honest, people think, oh no, coffee and tea, is a, it's a diet, I, I probably have to cut that out. Heck no, no, coffee is actually powerful. The caffeine in coffee and tea mm -hmm. actually stimulates lipolysis. It actually stimulates the mobilization of fatty acids into the bloodstream. That's what people don't realize. It's not like it's just giving you energy up here. It's literally getting fat out of the cell in its normal spot and into its mobilized form of free fatty acids. So you're literally mobilizing the fat that you're gonna burn for fuel. So I you know, never go overboard, but a couple of cups of coffee, a little bit of tea, heck yeah. So lipolysis and thermogenic, correct? Because yep. I know Cor tea and coffee are both thermogenic. So this right there also is allowed in the diet and will help you make you feel better as well and last longer before your next meal. Uh, give us another fat other than other than avocado. What, yeah. what kind of bacon you said you mentioned bacon's yeah. uh, okay. Bacon? What about fish? Fish is absolutely great. You just want to go for wild caught fish. You know, don't go for uh, farm raised salmon farm -raised. and stuff like that. You're going to end up with a bunch of antibiotics that quite honestly, here's the thing you have to know about the ketogenic diet is everything that you put in your body becomes more, uh, the effects become more exacerbated. You become a lot more sensitive, which is a good thing, right? So on the keto diet, you are in a prime position to get exponentially powerful effects from every positive thing that you eat. But it can also mean that you're more sensitive to eating bad things. So you don't want to be taking in those antibiotics because your body's going to be more receptive to them. The more good things you eat, the more profound effect those good things are going to have on your body. You just want to avoid the, um, you know, the antibiotic like rich foods, you know, like, it's right. like so much of the meat, the low quality meat and the fish that we eat these days. You just, you want to go for organic whenever possible or at least non-GMO and, and just go a clean source. That's great. So one last thing. I know people can eat fat now and I know people can have the caffeine and, and, and we, they can have the avocados. Well, we want a little bit more greens in the diet. Can they have greens? Can they have grasses? Can they have those vegetables? Can they have, what can they have? What can they have on a, on a little bit smaller level just so people understand, can they have a salad? Yeah. What do they put on it just on an average day? My, my favorite thing to do first thing in the morning is to go out on my front porch, grab a big handful of my lawn and eat it. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> yes, you, you can absolutely eat greens. And that's the thing is people, uh, they, they think because there's one or two grams of, of carbs in these veggies that they can't eat them. The fact is most of those carbs are fiber, which aren't going to really affect your ketogenic state. Like the only way that fiber can ever affect your ketogenic state is if you went like above and beyond. Now, you'd have to, I mean, you'd have to be eating scoops upon scoops of psyllium husk and, and uh, flax seeds to actually have that happen. So you want to get those greens in. Um, you know, some of my favorite things like baby kale is one of my favorites because it's so easy to digest. Like, um, you know, you've got regular kale, which it's good, but it's got the stalks and it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to mechanically digest. Yeah. So like baby kale is really easy to digest. Uh, big fan, like huge fan of asparagus. Asparagus is my jam. Uh, probably one of the lowest carb veggies that you're gonna find. Mm -hmm. Super nutrient dense, but it's also high in what are called prebiotic fibers. And these prebiotic fibers allow the growth of good bacteria within your gut. So it's like, you, it's fertilizer for your good healthy gut bacteria and prebiotic fiber in asparagus is just phenomenal. So um, you have to get these greens. I mean, it's, it's imperative and that's a big downfall. Oh, I, can't, I can't eat anything you've talked about without putting some kind of dressing on it. Right, guys? So, like, what, what, what would I put on it? Give me a healthy dressing that's, that's just the, to make it a little bit moist and that's wet. That's the nice thing with <laughs> keto is, right, is, like, you can go from one end of the spectrum to the other, and I'll give you examples of both. You could, you know, you could have these veggies, and you could go the super, super healthy, pure route and have uh, um, some olive oil and vinegar. Sure. Or, quite honestly, you could go to the other end of the spectrum and have some, you know, nice high-fat ranch dressing and blue cheese dressing if you really wanted to. Not saying that that's the best choice from a, just an overall nutritional density profile, but the fact is it's not gonna kick you out of keto. You're still gonna be following the cardinal rules of the diet, even if you were to, quite frankly, douse your vegetables in some blue cheese dressing. All right.